Hello everyone, welcome back to PvZ2 Eclipse. Last time we finished up some mini games, and this time we're going to be hopping back over to Adventure Extra Mode, uh, this time doing the night levels of Jurassic Marsh. But first, before we do that, I thought it's about time we do another secret level. So looking at this, it looks like the next one in order will be S13, which is this one, to get the mistletoe. So now, guys, uh, I will show you the strategy that I used to like kind of make it through this one. Let me show you, because cause I do like work on these off screen. I don't want to show all my failed attempts at these, because these are quite difficult levels. But yeah, this is the step I went with. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly standard um, big wave beach level, although we also have flowers that we have to protect. And it's, it's a bit weird not bringing lily pads to this setup, but I really don't actually need them. Yeah, it's even going to prompt me, oh, you, you're not bringing lily pads, you big dummy. But yeah, I don't, I don't really care. Anyway, my, here's my basic setup. We just bring uh, some producers, uh, Primal P, and the Cold Snapdragon to like really delay zombies and also Enduring to do some damage too, because there will be a large amount of zombies. And then eventually we'll try and get out a banana or two, because they're also going to throw a fair bit of Gargantuars at us. I'm going to use a Spring Bean for that guy. I'm really starting to like the Spring Bean. It's, it's like a good reusable um, stalling plant. Although it is, it only works on single zombies though. Just the sad part. Uh, let's get our first primal P out for that guy. Yeah, I'm really starting to like the sunflower twin sunflower setup. I thought I was gonna go with pr the primal sunflower forever, but I think using two sun producers and having them both be these two sunflowers is the best. Anyway, so right, right here we have a diver, so I'm just going to put out an enduring in for him, and then as for this cone head, I'm not sure yet. I'm probably going to stun in him. No, we'll use a spring beam. Yeah, that's better. It's, it's more cost effective and I can reuse it. And also, ideally here, I want to try and get a cold snapdragon out. Those are quite handy to have. Yeah, let's put him here. We'll cover all those rows. I'm gonna throw it enduring in right there. And I might have to stun that cone head actually. Let me put that down though. Yeah, I'm just gonna stun him. Oh, I should have just used a spring bean. Yeah, ideally I want to get that my uh, second cool snap dragon out. Make sure all the rows are covered. Here, let's just put a spring bean down for that guy. Because I wasn't sure when the stunning was going to end, and I couldn't let him move very much afterward anyway. Anyway, let's uh, start putting down more primal peas. Actually, I'm just going to dig up some of these sunflowers in favor of that. There, I, want, that's a, I think that was a really good stun, actually, because he was about to put the surfboard down. I'm going to put a few more sunflowers down, actually, because it'll be a while before I can fill these spots with more uh, primal peas anyway. So I will put more primal peas up in front. And then maybe... Here, let's dig... Let's dig that guy up and just put Enduring down. I want, yeah, I want to reinforce the top and bottom rows the most right now. Put you up. Put you there. Although I might put more primal peas there. We'll see. You see how effective the Enduring is here when everything is like slowed down. Let's get another one of the U out to really reinforce the middle. Uh, top row is actually quite weak, I just noticed. I like how we can like kind of like hold the surfers in place almost. Oh shoot, oh the stupid surfer guy did that. A couple ladies done this. Let's see this guy up, just put Enduring down. Help damage. 
everything. The Yua for a twin. I really want to get a banana down, actually. Yeah, let's try and save up for a banana, because those have such a long cooldown. And I'm gonna put a banana back here. So I'll just save it for the Gargantua. Let's dig this guy up. Put you down. Okay, we got two Primal Peas in every row. Everything should be thoroughly head held back. I think even Gargantuars will have trouble getting through this. I wanted to save the banana for the Gargantuars. Ah, here he come. Here come, big boy. Yeah, let's just throw another Primal Pea there. So we're ready for him. The Imp. There we go. He should have taken like a huge amount of damage just then. Let's get the last cold snapdragon out. Okay, we're in business. Fortunately, pushing the guys back with the, the primal P doesn't seem to affect anything. Uh, when it comes to like trampling the flowers, or at least it better not. It would suck if I accidentally pushed the guy onto the flowers myself, you know. Alright, this now would be a really good time for the banana to come back. You know, with the triple gargantuars here. There we go. Oh shoot. The surfer guy got through. Top. Let's get our banana out though. Let's fire that there. Alright, we're pretty we're in pretty good standing for this final wave. I am missing a cool snapdragon though. Okay, now we're set. Let's fire this here in the back. So that definitely thinned out the herd quite a bit there. Next banana will go into the bottom rows. There we go. So now I think mo I think most, if not all, the normal zombies are dead. Stupid imps though, make it. Such an issue for pain. Stop eating my stuff. Banana time. Boom, alright. And we're almost done. Just need one more big banana. To take him out and we'll be good. Okay, let's replace you. Oh, I can just buy another banana real soon here. Boom, you get a double dose of the banana. Boom. Boom. All right. And there we go. Uh, we got the mistletoe unlocked. Now, truth be told, I have never used the mistletoe in my life, nor do I even know what it does. So this is sure to be interesting. <laughs> there we go, launches chilling blast. Maybe it's like an AOE thing, I don't know. Hey, we can uh, we can play S18 now and get the Winter Melon. That is a really powerful plant we probably should unlock sometime soon. But first, let's move on to do yeah the night levels of Jurassic Marsh. Now I'm expecting these to go pretty easily as well, like still like Adventure Part One levels easy. Uh, 153,000, uh, million, 954,766 years into the past, one year before our final visit, or first visit. Does that fact technically make this visit the first one? This is confusing. Wow. Stop with the time shenanigans, buddy. It is not time, sh uh, it is not time shenanigans. I am just pondering. 
No time for pottery. We got zombies to put down. Yeah, there's a bunch of basic dudes. All right, standard. Let's bring the imitated sunshroom. This, although, maybe I should find a use for my boosted plants. Yeah, I got bloom ring. I feel like I've never used bloom ring, so I probably should just put it out. And yeah, be done with it that way. Maybe I'll tr maybe I'll bring the mistletoe to see what it does exactly. Uh, and other than that, I think we just bring stalling plants, right? I think I think maybe that should do it. It's going to be pretty hard to get my first bloom ring out, so I think that should be good. Oh yeah, let's just bring puff shroom for the early game, at least until I can get more bloom rings out. See, so yeah, I'll just put my sun shrooms in this column. I really wish there was a way to like reorder my seed slots. So I, I would have just put my puff shroom up in like the third slot, but yeah, I, I done messed it up. And put, it picked it last. All right, you can chill out, dude. Yeah, let's put this out now for him. That should be enough to kill him, right? Well, he might eat one, but I can live with that. Alright. Unfortunately, I'm not getting the many for killing them, because these are all puff shroom kills. At some point, I gotta just start, stop putting them down. First, I need to start making the money. Okay. Maybe the bloomer can get the kill there. Okay, let's dig that buff shroom so he, he gets the bloomer and gets the kill for sure. Put one of you down there. We got Rapscallions coming in. Although they're not the true Rapscallions. They're not that fast. I yeah, know seeds need time to refresh. I've been playing this game for almost 100 episodes now. I really wish there was a way just to disable that message. Yeah, I got, I definitely have enough sun producers now. Start ranking in the money now. Raking in the money. This guy needs to chill out. Let's try a mistletoe. Oh, I, it's like a firing thing. Oh! Shoot, I just... I'm so glad I just accidentally clicked on that. And just found out that way. Did not realize it was a plant you had to, like, aim. Shoot, I want to put more of those down. That seems... That seems like fun. It's like a banana. But it chills instead of... Goes boom. Actually, I don't want to fire this. Yeah, let's hold on to that. Put another one down. Yeah, I'll just have two F right now. That should, that should, it should be fine. You know, I always wondered this about the bloomerang. If I put them like further up in the row, do they fire like faster? Like, cause the bloomerangs to travel more. Or does like the does the the boomerang itself like compensate and like fl fly like faster when it's in the back? That's why I really wonder. Okay, let's try this out here. Did that do damage? I can't really tell. We'll have to see here in a minute with the wave. That might do damage, actually. 
We're getting a few bucks out of this. So just put one down and fire it. Alright, not bad. I mean, I could definitely see a use for this. Maybe. I don't know. Let's look that up. It seems like it does some damage, too, so it's not, like, purely for slowing. It's like a mini banana launcher. But I can also slow down, I don't know. Maybe I just pull up the wiki page right now and look. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to level 2. In the meantime, I, I'm looking this up at the same time. Survive without planting on day's mole colonies. Well, I wasn't going to put plant there anyway. Why would I plant stuff up there? Excuse me? Why, why would I put stuff there? Uh. Hmm. I also kind of want to use more boosted plants, so perhaps I should, uh... Hmm. More boosted plants. Oh, no, we have the Stegosaurus. Oh, that's why the mole colonies are there. It's so I can't kill the zombies as easily before they get launched by the Stegosaurus. Right. That's never really stopped me. I... This might be the level where I bring uh, the shadow plants back. Because I notice I have both of them boosted, although I probably should just use one anyway. Let's just bring the dust globber for this. Oh yeah, let's uh, bring puff shroom. And again, we'll just bring like stunning plants. Ice Shroom could be handy too, later in the game. Let's give that a shot. Yeah, I'll just put these down... ...wherever. Actually, maybe I shouldn't put them there. Hmm, Active Spot is the name of the level. Not really sure what exactly that's referring to. I'm gonna start putting these in the, uh, third column, actually. Hmm. Kind of wish I brought the mistletoe again. It seems like a fun plant. Oh shoot, fun plant to use. A bucket head straight away. Excuse me. Well, this is a spring bean moment if I've ever seen one. Start getting more and more dust clobbers out. Okay, let me put two there. I do like how they're kind of AoE based. Gonna need another puff shroom up top to help out. I'll just done both these guys actually, or just the one. Just the one works too. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna try and start saving up my son for the dust lobber. Or no, sorry, not the dust lobber, the moonflower. As soon as I put one down, I'll have a whole bunch. Ready to benefit from this. Uh, let's do this for you. Okay, Moonflower down here. That's a big boom. Big boon. Let's take this one up, actually. Let's just give a big freeze for a moment, because these guys are breaking through right here. And there's a Stegosaurus I kind of don't want to deal with right away. Get another dust clobber out. Kind of just want to get another moonflower out straight away. 
cone head. It's not fair. Start raking in the dough now. Guys decided to stop. Thank you. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Oh no, whatever will I do? I'll be honest, I don't have as many sun shrooms out as I would wish, but I mean, I'm. Like, I don't think it really matters how much I really produce at this point. We're making a lot more from the moonflowers now. Are you up for a dust clobber? At this point, I may as well just put out way more. Uh, or start replacing the sun or sun shrooms too. Let's do one of those. Please, bucketheads. We just have way too much damage now. I don't think anything can get through. I love the shadow plants. Like they have such a such an easy uh, method to set them up with, you know. Or it's not. It doesn't. T it's not hard to get them out. We're making so much money now because of all these shadow plants. Yeah, there's no way that these buckheads get through up top. Well, actually, maybe. I have to freeze this guy. Oh no, okay, he's almost dead. Well, we can freeze everything now. It's the final wave. Don't hit that lawnmower, dude! Actually. There we go. Cannot afford to lose that one lawnmower. Yay! Alright, uh, yeah, we definitely have enough time to do another level, because these ones are so short. And I'll probably use another beast plant. Let's move on to level 3. Only 600 sun this time! We have leftover spike weeds this time, perhaps we can make use of them? Only one way to find out, then! Spend no more than 600 sun? Uh, any, well, this seems like a level to me where we should bring, uh, well, first of all, sun shrooms for sure. Maybe I'll go, actually, yeah, let's just bring, um, th yeah, those, and then we can bring the boost, or the imitated puff shroom as well. But what I was mainly thinking is just bringing, um, like, sapling and, uh, endurian. And I think as soon as we get those out on those rows, like, they're good. Like, the spike weed should be enough to kill all these guys. There's nothing too strong. Uh, sorry, not Endur- uh, Actually, Endurian's like, yeah, way- Endurian's way too expensive. I think a Walnut probably do. So, let's see. 
Yeah, each row has at least one. So it would cost me like a hundred. Because the, the combination of the sapling and the walnut will be a uh, hundred for each row. So I have 100 extra sun to spend. And I think I would just use that for four sun shrooms and that'll be it. Um, this is not a very expensive setup at all. Uh, so let's just bring a whole bunch of free stuff. That is all the free stuff, so let's bring stuff that I'm just not going to use now. Uh, yeah. Hot potato and EMP. Actually, yeah. I mean, yeah, they're, they're, I'm not going to use it anyway. It doesn't really matter. So yeah, four sun shrooms is all I get. Oh, the... Oh. Hmm. Yeah, other than that, we just spam puff shrooms. Let's get our saplings out in every row, too. But yeah, 600 sun is, like... Not a whole lot at all, but thankfully they did give us extra stuff to play around with. I'm not even gonna use the Garlemite too, honestly. Okay, that might mean that's okay, so I can't put down anything more than the saplings and the walnuts. So let's put this row definitely needs a walnut right here. I really should get out the sapling there so they don't get eaten. Yeah, because if the walnut get eats gets eaten, I might be in trouble. Uh yeah, we'll put the wall we'll put the walnut on the furthest back. Um, spike weed in each row, I think. Now, like, ain't nothing getting through this. No way. I wish I had like a boosted puff shroom now, honestly. Throw a, we'll throw a single guard of might right there for um for morale. I don't think I'll use anything else. Uh, what am I missing? I need yeah, I just need to put down two more walnuts and the setup will be complete. Last walnut should be uh, down here. And there we go, that's all the sun I can spend. I don't even know if I should put out the puff shrooms or not. Well, I mean, I definitely should maintain the ones that are behind the walnuts, but like the ones that come before the spike weed, you know. Let's dig up these guys, they're looking a little old. Like these three guys in the middle row, like I don't know if I should keep those or not. I might fast forward through this, yeah, because nothing's really going to happen at all. Probably didn't even need the walnuts, honestly. Could have gotten by with puff shrooms alone. Yes, give me more gems. So let's put a garlemite down here. We're moving the motivational garlemites down to the bottom left corner. He's sending us good vibes for this level. We can't do this without the Garlemites. Let's 
refreshing the puff shrooms. Don't mind me. Oh, did they actually eat the walnut? Or did I accidentally dig that up? I was not paying attention to what happened to that guy. Doesn't really matter, though. Yeah, because they- there's no way this- whatever comes through the bottom, they can't really get through, like, six puff shrooms with a sapling aimed on them the whole time. And if I'm feeling really nice, I can even use a garlamite and force them up into the fourth row, which the fourth row is a bit more prepared. It has two spike weeds there. Yeah, they go- Yeah, all oh, yeah, all the walnuts are either dead or really low. Probably just throw out more and more puff shrooms. Oh shoot, this uh, top row was worse off than I thought. It's my bad. Alright, well there we go. That level was not difficult at all. Um, definitely a clever use of like... Just giving us like plants to work with. Not like endangered plants, but just more plants to work with. I kind of like it when levels do that. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, we'll be doing more of these night levels here. Um, I was thinking most likely the war party in levels 4 and 5. That's what I'm thinking right now, anyway. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, until next time, when I see you then, bye!